James, four catches for James Devlin today. Does that make him the next third down back for the Patriots to uh, be part of the passing attack? It's possible. Um, he's out there on the field more and more each week. Um, he's a very versatile guy, and, and he made some key big plays for us today. And I think a lot of guys just tried to step in there and make plays when the ball came their way. James, uh, today they they were I think um, something like eight or nine different receivers had catches. Uh, what does that say about the offense that you guys have the ability to have so many different guys contribute? Uh, we have a lot of versatile guys, a lot of guys that can catch the football. Tom does a great job of spreading it out, find the open guy, and like I said, guys are trying to make a play when they they have the opportunity, and I think guys try to do that today. Uh, James, uh, two quick ones for you. Uh, Philip Dorsett, you, you've known him for a while. Uh, last year, played a lot of snaps, didn't have the ball thrown his way. Do you think today he showed what he can do when, when he gets the opportunity? Oh, uh, Definitely. Um, I've known that guy since high school. He works extremely hard. He got here last year at the training camp, so a lot was kind of thrown at him fast. And I mean, I think he got better as the year went on, and I think he took the challenge this offseason to, to learn the offense as best as he can and just be in the right spots and win in man. And I, mean, I think he went out there and showed it the day that he can – he could be a good player for us. The, uh, the offensive performance looked pretty good out there today, but then Tom came in and said he wasn't too pleased with it. Why do you think that is? Um, we definitely didn't play our best game. Um, had a couple stagnant drives, had some turnovers. Uh, we definitely want to eliminate those. So got to get back to the drawing board, watch the film, and definitely got to improve. We play another good defense next week. James, your uh, touchdown that you have, you just talk about it, where it came in the game, and it was kind of a nice turning point. I mean, it's a good play call by Coach McDaniels. I just kind of saw the flat open, and Tom ended up finding me. And just a one-on-one -on -one situation. Coaches always talk about just trying to win those and getting the ball in the end zone. And I mean, that's what I just try to do. James, you and Rex were on the field a lot together today in two running back sets. What kind of uh, wrinkles does that add to the defense to have you guys both on the field at the same time? Yeah, Coach McDaniels, he does a great job of dialing up plays, whether it's one of us on the field or two of us on the field. Uh, we just want to go out there and execute it, show it in practice that we're capable of doing a lot of different things. And I think it can keep the defense off balance. And we just got to continue to improve and get better at it. James, over here again. Um, Riley McCarron talked about when he came over on the sidelines, you guys picking him up. When a young guy makes a play like that at that point in the game, did you say anything to him or did other guys? What do you do? Yeah, I went up and tapped him on the head. I told him the, the play's over. Uh, we'll move on from it. The defense is going to try and get a stop. And I mean, we might need you that next drive so he can't be down in the dumps. But I mean, Riley's a good football player. We've all made mistakes in, in some key moments. Uh, so he definitely got to try and lift him up and keep his spirits because I mean, he still had a football game to play. Yeah, we just talked about all week just playing from ahead. Um, we knew it wouldn't finish the game right away. We, we all talked all through the week. This game was going to come down to the last play, and it did. But we, we thought it was very important to, to get out there, play from ahead. And you know by doing that, our offense went out there. Um, I thought they played really well. And I thought we just had to keep giving them chances to go out there and score against another really good defense. So um, we just got to continue to do those things. Devin, what's the defensive mindset with a mobile quarterback like Deshaun Watson, who's especially dangerous extending plays in a Hail Mary situation where he can get to the sideline and heave it deep? Oh, we practiced that a lot throughout training camp, ready for this, getting ready for this game. Um, I thought everyone executed well. Uh, we knew he was going to buy some time back there, uh, but it was all about just trying to get to him and not let him you know, be able to launch it because not only is he mobile, he has a, he has a hell of an arm. So... Um, you see even there, it didn't get to the end zone, but it was only a couple yards short. So uh, that was something we practiced a lot.